Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Welcome to episode number 22 of this NHL 22 Newfoundland Growlers Draft to Glory franchise mode here on my channel. If you guys have missed episodes up to this point, head up into that top corner. And if you do enjoy this one, show your support down below by dropping a like, subscribing, hitting notifications, and doing all that good stuff to support my channel. So today we get into the conference finals of the 2035 Stanley Cup playoffs. You guys probably can't see it, but we started off by beating the Tampa Bay Lightning in five games there and then beating Montreal in seven in the last episode. So now we take on the New York Rangers who are going to be a tough team, but I think our team is tougher. So looking at everything that's gone on here in the playoffs so far, we're looking like we're in a good spot. This Rangers team is really good, but I don't know if they're the best team remaining in the playoffs apart from us. So if you look at this Colorado team, Colorado is actually looking quite strong here as well for a franchise. Their defense is actually in my opinion, better than most of the others here. They've got Helpern in net too, which is definitely going to help. Although, you know, this uh, this LA team does look extremely strong too. They might be the best team out of everybody here. So keep an eye on them. They've got good goaltending in Cali Mahler too. And then of course, the New York Rangers here. You know, good forward group, not quite as good as LA. Defense is definitely not quite there, but you know, they could put up a really good fight too. So let's get into this. Let's of course take a look at our roster. Our team's in great shape right now. We really have a good shot at uh, going further here, but at the same time, we have to beat the New York Rangers today. So that's our team. That's how we're looking. We do have a very strong defense in my opinion. It's not the best in the world, obviously, LA's got a pretty strong one there too, but you know, we've got better goaltending in my opinion, and we'll see how that translates here as we get further into this. The AHL team's doing great here. We should have some players coming up, such as, you know, Svedberg or Noah Ladd. There are some names there that I am keeping an eye on that are very likely going to be replacing depth players here in the near future. Even a guy like Gustavo O'Neill is just looking like a really good defensive defenseman. We're going to get him into the NHL in the next season, probably. He had a ton of penalty minutes, but that's okay. And Fairchild's also looking really good. He's won 9 out of 12 games there. And 1.78 goals against average is pretty impressive from a young goalie like that. So Halifax is up 2-0 in the minors. We're not as worried about them. They just won last year, but they seem to be doing quite well. So let's get into this. First game of the conference finals here at the Mary Brown Center. Game one is a 7-2 victory for the Newfoundland Growlers. Not really close there. And LA also wins 7-3, as you can see in the top corner there. So dominant wins in game one in both series and not bad at all. So game number two against the Rangers is a 4-0 win. LA wins 2-1 by the skin of their teeth. And we do drop a game there to the Hartford Wolf Pack as the Halifax Huskies. So that one kind of stings, but it's okay. As we head into game three now of the series, game four of the AHL, and we lose five to two. All right, game three goes the other way. LA wins five to one. They are just much stronger team there, but we do win six to five against Hartford. So, you know, up two one, up three one. We're in good spots. So heading into what is very likely going to be the final game of the series here for uh, the AHL, as well as, you know, another game here for the NHL. Looking at the draft class, you know, there are some really good players in here, but we're just not going to be drafting there. We're going to be further back, and the guy I'm actually most interested in isn't Sean Eshi, even though he does look really good too. The guy I'm actually most interested in is a defender down here named Tom Sutter, and he looks really good. Like, he is NHL ready, pinch and cycle, so not quite the perfect system fit, but if he could grow into a top four defender, that would be huge for us, and that's really what we need because, you know, our defense just hasn't quite developed as well as I'd hoped. Vigneault looks really good. There are some good name players in here that I think we are going to be able to land in the draft. All right, so as we head into games four and five here of the NHL and AHL playoffs, LA could move on as well, but let's see what happens, and AHL is over, so we win. We also win 4-3 in overtime, and LA does drop a game to the Colorado Avalanche 5-3 there, so very close contests in all of these uh, all of these series, but we will be taking on the Colorado Eagles in the Calder Cup Finals this year. Um, last year, who was it? I think it was... 
Um, was it Colorado last year? It must have been Colorado last year. All right, so we could eliminate the New York Rangers here. Colorado is taking on, or sorry, um, Halifax is taking on Colorado there. But first period of game number five, we're up 3-1. Goals from Grand Pierre, Tangrati, and Clem. And, of course, Galchenyuk gets one there for the Rangers, but just not enough yet. So up 3-1 after the first. Second period, it makes it 4-1 there. Berkeley Katon, or Katon, however you say his name. And let's get into the sim here. Power play for the Rangers is going to make it 4-2. to two. Connor Bedard scores there. Make it 4-3. to three. Connor Bedard is single-handedly taking the team, but Adam Fantilli makes it 5-3. Power play again for the Rangers. Doesn't convert this time, but they do, you know, make a bit of a pushback there. Power play again doesn't convert. Okay, we are killing penalties off at a decent rate here, but 6-3, Bo Gibbons seals the deal, puts the nail in the coffin, and that is going to wrap it up for the conference finals. Not really that close. At the end of the day, it is a 3-4-1 series, and three assists for Solomon Edwards is a big night. Tangrati with three points there too. You'll love to see it, and we will take on the LA Kings in the Stanley Cup finals here this year after really kind of walking to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals from the Conference Finals. It wasn't that close, but Colorado wins Game One. Okay, that is good to good to know. Kind of sucks to see, but that happens. So, Game Number Two of the Calder Cup Finals is a five to one loss, and Colorado's got our number this year. So that is rough. All right, taking a look at the LA Kings roster again. This roster is one that you know we kind of built out of uh, lack of selection, to be completely honest. Like, a couple of these players, especially a guy like Mickelson, wouldn't even be playing on the LA Kings if we had drafted him, but we obviously didn't, so now we have to live with that decision and hopefully, you know, beat this team. So, they've got Luke Hughes, who is an amazing defender. they got Ty Nelson in there, too. They've got really solid players throughout their team, but Callie Muller, another one of those guys, used to play for the Growlers, didn't want to stay as the second string to a guy like, um, is it Igor? What's his name? Uh, Sergey. No, Yuri Vorobiev. God, there's a lot of Vorobievs that I've drafted over the years, but, um, but yeah, didn't want to stay second string to Vorobiev, and that's understandable, but at the same time, Vorobiev is the one getting the cups consistently here, and yeah, he has been phenomenal throughout his career, especially in the playoffs. You look at his playoff stats, and yeah, 72 out of 109 is pretty darn impressive. So he's on a roll this year. Not going to be a 916 save percentage necessarily, but he's played 17 games here now, which just get tougher and tougher and tougher as you go through the playoffs. So you do have to respect how well Vrobyov has played throughout. So, all right, let's get into this LA series. It's going to be an interesting one. And game one is a 4-3 to three OT win. We just beat the Kings by the skin of our teeth there. And really, we could see the Halifax Huskies go down 3 nothing if they don't start playing here. But game two, we have the lead. We're looking to continue with that pressure and that momentum. And we are going to lose 5-3. to three. And it's a 3 nothing series there in Halifax. They're not looking... Doesn't look like Halifax has got too much hope. But we'll see if they can come back down from 3 nothing. First period of game four, zero, zero. Second period, game one, Alan Agostino, and make it a four to one win as Agostino gets a hat trick. Prusak gets the empty netter, and Hollander scores once for the Colorado Eagles there. So, hat trick for Agostino is a very impressive night. That's what we needed out of him just to survive. And as we take on the Kings here in game number three, we want to win this game, get the lead back in this series, and we do. 7-3 to three win. Very, very strong. Very, um, what's the word? With integrity. With, uh, I'm blanking here. With authority. That's the word I was looking for. I just totally had a brain fart there. But we take them out with authority. And 7-3 uh, to three win wasn't really close. But heading into the next game here in the AHL, we're trying to keep the Huskies alive, see if they can keep themselves alive here. And game number five starts off 0-0. We're getting outshot. Second period, 3-1 to one down. It's not looking good, but I'm going to jump in, try to keep Halifax alive, just get you guys a little bit more gameplay action here, even if they are probably going to be knocked out here. But 
you know, Colorado's got some pretty nice looking jerseys here. Let's be honest, like their alternate looks sweet. So we have a better team than them. It's more so just a matter of actually getting some goals here and winning the game. All right, so here we go. Game number five, third period, down three to one. We need some goals back immediately. So here we go. Prusak walking in over to Agostino. He's going to reset to Tersumbayev, who fires, hits his own guy. Prusak wins the puck back. Agostino, good shot. Noah Ladd cutting to the front, and there it is. Noah Ladd, great goal. Man, this guy's good. I, I really like what Noah Ladd's been able to do so far. And seventh goal of the playoffs comes in handy. So, yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous goal there. Agostino with no contest sets up the play there. And really, Noah Ladd just making the cut to the front of the net and not really a contest there. So, he love to see it. We are right back in this game, 45 seconds in or so, and let's see if we can hold now. Knack knocked off the puck. Here goes Tersumbayev. He's absolutely clobbered there. My goodness. Gustavo O'Neill going to take Zibanejad off the puck here. O'Neill hits Ladd. Ladd pass across to Prusak. Oh, that one almost got in actually there. So Vitaly Ovechkin just behind Agostino for goals in these playoffs. But we get our second line out here. They're actually quite a good line too. Verdino, uh, Borowski, and Svedberg. That is a sick lineup. But Edwards going to fire there. Svedberg picking up the puck. Oh, Eugene Edwards again. Great chance. Now, oh, Borowski in front. He got absolutely clobbered again. But Bobolov playing good defense. Throws a big hit. Resets. Good pass up to Verdino. Grayson Verdino looking for a play. He's going to drop off to Edwards, who just gets bumped and knocked off the puck there. Now, Borowski looking for a play. Sends it back to Svedberg, over to Edwards. He's going to fire a good chance through traffic there. But we're just getting absolutely annihilated along the boards there. Big hit to kind of throw the momentum back the other way. Here goes Eugene Edwards, cutting to the front of the net. Eugene Edwards, what a goal from a defensive defenseman. Let's go. We are right back in this. I swear to God, guys, this is on Superstar. Our team's just that much better. So, my goodness, what a finish from the defenseman. Eugene Edwards just cutting like a power forward right to the net and finds it over McEachern's blocker and pat there. So, yeah, wow, what a goal. Um, We're right back in this 3-3 game. All right, faceoff's going to go back. Bobolev sends Wolski right up the middle. Wolski trying to fire through traffic. Knocked off the puck. Edwards now down to Wolski. Wolski still getting pressured. Edwards through traffic. Good chance. Now Francisco Wolski looking to kind of cut off the play here. Pressure's on. Oh, big hit by McDonough. Hollander knocked off the puck there a bit. Now they're going to send the dump in. Bobolev's going to go back for this one. Chase Bobolev looking for a play. He's going to send it way up to Wolski. Now Francisco Wolski walks in. Great chance. Buka boom getting into the battle here. Can't quite get the puck. Now Edwards playing the outside to Kanopka. Doherty knocked off the puck. Agostino almost loses it. Sketchy plays here, but we'll take it. Now Maciej Prusek looking for a play. He's getting pressured. He cuts to the front. He's knocked off the puck. Collins absolutely hit there by Agostino. He loses the puck, though. Now Lindbergh playing defense. Good cut off there. Doherty going to turn away from his check. Agostino down the wing now. Alan Agostino cutting to the front of the net. Great chance. Rebound. Prusak buries it. Let's go. Halifax takes the lead back with unbelievable fashion and time in here halfway through the third period and the pressure is now on the colorado eagles to try and get a goal back but yeah just a great play prusak gets to the spot and isn't covered and that's as easy as that so prusak gonna win this one and we are in the lead now 
Prusak walking through. Oh my goodness, that one just about went in. Now battle ensues. Lad isn't able to get there. Gustavo O'Neill will kind of make a play. It's going to be dumped in, and Tersambayev is going to pick this one up. Yuri Tersambayev sends Prusak down the wall. Matej Prusek fires through traffic, just misses it. Now Tersambayev tries to go short side, doesn't get it. Now Collins almost knocked off the puck. Interference on that play, my goodness. Now Ovechkin, what are you guys doing? Like, you're sitting so far in your own end. How do you expect to score? Now Convoy absolutely leveled on that play. Byzantin gonna look to cut back, make a pass. It's picked off by Prusek. Prusek through traffic, what a goal, Tommy Zinger. And this is a 5-3 game. That's just a great turnover. Prusek is really forcing the envelope here and it converts yet again. Man, what a game from Prusek. He's really impressed me. Especially on Superstar too. He's like, what, 75, 76 rated? And just, you know, just killing it. Making great passes, making great checking plays. And yeah, like, <laughs> my goodness, 5-3 game. We score four goals here in the third period. All right, Edwards up to Borowski. Byron Borowski tees one up, just misses it. Now Bobolev looking for a play. He's going to send it down deep to Svedberg. Matt Svedberg looking to make a play, finds Borowski. Cycling the puck around here. Jace Bobolev through traffic, not really a tough one there for McEachern. Now Knack knocked off there, and that forces the offside. But yeah, Prusak, two goals in the game. He's got an assist as well. He's been fantastic. Face off here. We're going to lose it, but that's okay. Sparowski almost picks that one off. Now he does. Hits Svedberg in stride. Matt Svedberg looking to cut in. Can't quite fire. Rebound was loose there. We have drawn a penalty, and we're going to try to keep possession away here. Now O'Neal through traffic, rebound was loose, but they get it. All right. Let's see if we can convert nice and quickly on this. Face off here, Karanen's going to win it back. Prusak looking through traffic, tees one up, hits the screen. Karen and back to Prusak yet again. Maciej Prusak over to McDonough. Robinson McDonough looking for a play. He's going to be bumped a little bit there. Now Prusak again through traffic and he's got the hat trick. Maciej Prusak, great cycling work there on the power play. And yeah, his shot, like he's impressing me. He's just scoring all the time. Third goal tonight, seventh of the playoffs. That can't be right. He's got to have more than that, but... Yeah, my goodness, what a what a performance here from Halifax. Prusak cutting down the wall here. He's bumped off a little bit. He then went back to Bobolev over to Edwards. He fires. Good chance there. It was blocked though. Now Bobolev cuts back. Going to hit Agostino in stride. He finds Prusak. Back down to Agostino. Oh, great poke. Agostino back to Bobolev. Over to Edwards. Cannon of a one-timer, but doesn't quite go. Whoa, Sabinajad got laid out there. Oh, nice try there. Nice pick off by Wolski. Finds Bukaboom down the wall. Bukaboom gets boomed. Ghoulie now in the battle. Bobolev tees it up off the wall. Apparently shin pads don't... There's 100 mile an hour slap shots to the shin pads don't hurt. Bobolev, good defensive play. Turned over right in front to Rajovic, but we will take it. Bukaboom now. Oh, he almost hit McDonough on the breakaway. That was close. Now Ra 
Raji Ra Ravijevic, I think is how you say his name. Byzantin lined up there. Puck still loose. Oh my goodness. Oh, great chance there. Waited too long yet again. Pass trying to get through. Hard again. Great chance. There we go. Alright, Tommy Zinger just going to hold back here in the last 15 seconds. He's going to fire from a sharp angle. Goes off the mask. Pobolev, great defense. And we're through. We keep going here, but my goodness, that was uh, that was quite the game. So there you have it. What a what a performance there from the Halifax Huskies to survive. But we could go up three one here with the Newfoundland Growlers here in game four, and that we do. We're up three one, and we are one win away from the Stanley Cup on home ice. We have to survive another game here with the Huskies to potentially complete a perfect season, but first period, up 2-1, great start from Prusak and McDonough. Second period, oh, we give it up, it's 3-2. All right, so we got to jump in, play this third, and hopefully survive another day. All righty, so here we go. In Colorado, down one goal in the third period of Game 6. They're looking to secure a Calder Cup. We're looking to survive another day. Starting things off, Gustavo O'Neill going to drive the puck down the boards. Cuts into the middle. He's absolutely laid out there. And there was no penalty on that play as far as a charge goes. Oh my goodness, that was a fantastic move there. That easily could have been a goal. All right, here we go. Now Noah Ladd picks it off, turns it over. Great chances out in front here. Knack, oh my goodness. Nice block there. Tersumbayev knocked off the puck. That should have been a goal. And another chance in front. How has Fairchild kept this out? Oh my goodness. The pressure is on, but Noah Ladd going to drive this thing down. Looking to get around his guy. He's going to cut back. Noah Ladd driving around again. Going to cycle down to Agostino. Alan Agostino couldn't quite get out in front there. But now Zabinajad poked off. Mobilev knocked off the puck there. Zabinajad yet again knocked away. Can we get the puck, please? My goodness. When we got the puck loose like that we should be able to skate away with it but now Byron Borowski through traffic great chance all right Grayson Verdino picks it up drop down to Svedberg he couldn't get through the traffic though oh come on that poke check's got to go through Alright, Borowski now finds Bukaboom in stride. He's looking for a pass into Verdino. Grayson Verdino didn't finish it. All he had to do was get it up to the top corner and it would have been a goal. Oh no, Edwards and Bobble have caught in sleeping here. There's a good play. Bukaboom going to send Borowski now. Byron Borowski walks away with it. Knocked off the puck again. Cuts to the front, Byron Borowski. Make it a 3-3 game. Our he should be our captain. I don't know why he's not the team captain here, but uh, our most experienced player here down in the minors looking like an absolute unit as far as getting goals and scoring at clutch times goes here. But great power move, and we're tied up 3-3 now. Pace off here. Wolski's going to win it. Doherty over to Lindbergh. Lindbergh hits Wolski up the middle. Wolski cutting through traffic, gets absolutely pummeled there. Lindbergh over to Doherty through traffic, Bukaboom just about buries that rebound. Good chances here. But yeah, not a crazy amount of goal scoring going on here, just more so like consistent kind of play. 
as far as close games and things like such go down to the minors, but Doherty through traffic nails his guy. Puka boom back to Lindbergh over to Doherty again. He's going to fire a great save by McEachern. McEachern? I don't know how you say his name. Anyways, Mutala absolutely hammered there to just to make the dump in, but oh, here goes Doherty. He's moving. Toby Doherty cutting through traffic, walks in, fires a decent shot there. We'll take it. Lingberg plays it over to his side where nobody is. That kind of sucks. All right, Book knocked off the puck here. Doherty going to wrap this one around to McDonough. Now Robinson McDonough driving down the wall, looking for a play. He's going to fire from a sharp angle, and that one actually almost went in. So this Colorado team's got some serious players on it, but... Uh, just judging by how things have gone here, they just, you know, aren't quite scoring as much as a few of our guys, but Prusak going to start things off here, wins the draw. Noah Ladd looking to make a play, lines up his guy. Now Vitaly Ovechkin trying to cut through, Agostino picks it off. Going to use his edges there to really go to work. Alan Agostino walks in, oh my goodness, he just about did it all himself there. Pass over to Tersumbayev through traffic. He just missed it. All right, pinned up here. Agostino's going to win this one over to Prusek. Prusek looking for a play. Tersumbayev over to O'Neal. He tries to fire through traffic, doesn't get it. Now it's going to be dumped in. Tersumbayev looking to make a play here. He just misses Prusek, but it shouldn't be icing. Nope. Oh, no, we got a tripping call coming up. That was bad timing for sure. Prusak just a little bit lax with his stick, and that's all it takes. That one kind of sucks, not going to lie. All right, face off here. We're going to win that one. Chandler Bolin going to dump this thing all the way down the ice. With six minutes left, we have to kill this off. Right, and here they come attacking four four to one. Goal oh, good poke check. Hard again, knocked off the puck here. Nice miss pass. That's exactly what we needed. Good defense, boys. Oh no, to somebody have just missed it there. Oh no, Ovechkin catches us trying to go forward. Good block there. How how do you still have the puck? And Vitaly Ovechkin, yet again, being a bit of a pain in the ass here. My goodness. That was a penalty? You're kidding me, right? Oh, man. I guess we get a chart. Elbowing. No. That looks like a hometown call to me, honestly. The uh, elbowing there, that's pretty rough to be honest. Pretty rough call, but uh, we still got 57 seconds left to kill off here. This is going to be tough. But we'll start off on the right foot by dumping this thing all the way down for McEachern to almost turn over. We'll ski, there you go. Just reset Bobolov, good play. Dump it down. Stretch passing is going on here. That's what you can do on five on three. Oh no, the clearance goes off the guy's face. That should have been a goal. Another trip. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man, everything's falling apart here. This is so bad. This is so, so bad right now. And I don't think there's really a lot we can do about it apart from try to kill it off, so. <sighs> At least we got guys like O'Neal playing absolutely amazing here. But we still got a minute and 13 of five on three. Like, yikes. Great defense here. Wolski's going to go for a skate. 
Francisco Wolski just hold possession, keep it away. All right, you reach your son by F. Skating away from his guy here. Just kill off more clock, beautiful. And dump it down, beautiful. Oh, that's coming right in on that too. Oh my goodness, that was worth going for there. Christian Lindbergh, great play, knocks Gooley off the puck there. How does Gooley get that? I'm sorry, like what the actual hell did I just watch there? Beautiful flip all the way down. Okay, that's what we like to see. All right, 13 seconds left here. This has been a tough kill, but we'll take it. There's another one down the ice. So Vetchkin again knocks it out of the air. Don't ask me how he keeps doing that, but he does. Hand eye maybe. Fairchild with his first really tough save of the PK. Knocked down again by Ghoulie. Okay. <sighs> that was such a lucky play, man. He's literally beat there. Like, out of position. Gonna get an odd man rush. And instead, nothing happens out of it there. All right, Boland. Cutting back. Interference, nice. All right, you can see the interference right in front. Our player got knocked over trying to get towards the puck. We'll take it. Kanopka with a bad timing penalty, to be completely honest here. We got to get one here, so. 4-on-4 four four for 23 seconds. Borowski's going to lose it. We've got him and Verdino out. Good poke check there. All right, didn't mean anything. Edwards is knocked off the puck. Borowski hits Verdino. Verdino in stride. Gonna hit Tersumbayev. Tersumbayev just misses it there. Alright, Eugene Edwards looking for a play here. He's gonna hit Agostino. Alan Agostino looking for a pass right in front there. He just missed it. That's too bad. Cross creases do still work if you can actually hit them. You gotta have pinpoint accuracy to do it. Agostino up to Verdino. Grayson Verdino looking for a play. Finds Prusak. Oh, Prusak had it there. Just misses it. Alright, here goes Robinson McDonough. Gonna cut back into the slot. Looking for a play over to Prusak. He's gonna T1. That was a good chance. Better save though. All right, so face-off here is going to go back to Colorado, and they're going to win it. McDonough picks it off over to Prusak, up to Agostino. Agostino is absolutely run over, and we're going to take a trip there. That's such a dumb penalty. How do you... Man, come on. I guess it's... It's Karenin, so it's not the worst thing ever, but that's just a stupid penalty. We got four on four for a minute and or for 43 seconds and then minute 23 left in the game we could really use a goal here so Matt Svedberg looking for a play cutting back looking back door over to Doherty great chance better save Bobolev good cut bruh what is that what is that Bobolev's six foot five you're telling me he's just gonna get knocked off the puck like that like come on there we go you're, you gotta be kidding me. That was a charge. That was another elbow. Oh my goodness. What a call. I've never seen so many interesting calls in one game. As far as just like elbow. Twice in one period. Like that's... <laughs> Elbowing is literally a percentage play that gets called a penalty every now and then. So I don't even know how we just got called on that twice. All right, Nicholas Bukaboom walking in. Oh my goodness, that was a great play. Bobolev getting held up there on the play. Bukaboom up to Bobolev. He's going down the wing hard. Jace Bobolev cutting in. Gustavo O'Neill just about pokes it into the right spot. 
Bubble of coming back. Lays his guy out. Beautiful. Let's go, Gustavo O'Neill. This is now's the time to shine. He comes cutting in. Oh, can't quite get away from it there. Hallander walks in. All right, and we will go to OT. Oh, man, the PK is it just... That's rough when you take 14 minutes of penalties to their four. So, <laughs> uh, all right. It's really rough. Five on three here for a bit, too. Heading into OT, we're going to have to be careful. So, Walensky starts off winning it back, and we got 35 seconds of five on three here. So, Starting things off, Sabinajad up to Knack. What is that play? You're kidding me, right? Just hold it, Fairchild. That's, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous how bad that play was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Face off here. Edwards is going to get that thing all the way down. Beautiful. Sketchy pass right in front there. We got 28 more seconds of PK here. We got to be careful. All right, face off yet again. O'Neal's going to win it this time. Bolin picks it off. Bobolev, great play, but didn't grab the puck for some reason. Oh no, Hallander walks out in front. You're kidding me. Oh man. Nice bounces, man. Really nice bounces there for the Colorado Eagles. So we lose in six to them, but fair enough. They put up a great effort and our team was just chasing the series the whole time. So bye-bye. <sighs> bye-bye, Halifax. Oh, we outshoot him in everything too. That's just a rough night. Oh well. All right, so unfortunately the Colorado Eagles are able to defeat our Halifax Huskies there. We won't get a perfect season, but as we head into game five of the Stanley Cup Finals here, this should be interesting, and we'll see if we can defeat LA. So first period, up 2-1, good start. Carpenter and Kazevnikov get the goals for us. Silken scores for LA. We outshoot them by four shots. Second period, three to one game. This is it. This is we we've pretty much won the cup here, but I'm gonna jump in, just play one period. They've got a good team here in LA, but I think we have a better team in Halifax. Alright. So here we go in Halifax. Game five, third period underway. The Huskies, or sorry, the Huskies, the Growlers, oh my goodness, how is that not a charge? The Growlers are just 20 minutes away from a Stanley Cup here. Carpenter getting absolutely pressured. How is there no, like, penalties on these guys? Alright, here goes Fantilli. You guys can play the body all you want. Our team's just going to keep coming, so... Oh my god, that was a big hit there. Carpenter just absolutely levels his guy. Man, this is nasty. Nasty hockey here. Connor Bedard had 19 goals in the playoffs. My goodness. So Kazevnikov gets stuck at center and wins the draw. Okay, that was an interesting play. Oh, turnover right in front for Fantilli. That was so close. Oh my goodness, that was almost 4-1. All right, Velarde checked by Carpenter. Okay. Now Brant Clark moving up. Oh my goodness, he's he's got some serious movement there. Plavik, oh, into Byfield. That was a great pass, but Byfield just couldn't fire it in time. 
going right now. Bo Gibbons walking in. Gets through everybody almost. Oh, right in front to Tengradi. It's off the post and it's in. To be honest, I think our other player actually knocked that one in, but they're not... Why do you show the mascot? I literally turned show mascot off. Like, I didn't put any work into it because there's no Growlers kind of mascot. So, anyways, that's a glitch. But in this one right here, I'm pretty sure Bo Gibbons actually poked that one in, to be completely honest. If you watch it happen here, like, I'm 90 plus percent sure that Bo Gibbons is actually the last one to touch this puck because it hits the post. Oh no, the goalie. <laughs> the goalie knocks this one in. If you watch his stick right here, he's trying to get it. <laughs> oh, the goalie knocked it in his own net. Oh, Callie Muller, whatever shall you do. Maybe Callie Muller's still technically on our team and trying to win us another cup here. So <laughs> in five games, you'd kind of expect that, especially off of a kind of average shot from Tangrati like that. Nice pass, or nice poke by Gibbons there. Edwards is going to come down the wing. Cuts in. Oh, can't quite make the move. It was a good try, though. Now Tangrati looking for space, finds it. Morozov over to Grand Pierre. That was almost tipped. Hayek gets hit pretty hard there. Morozov can't do anything with it there. Oh, boy. Good thing Grand Pierre's cut in reverse. He really cut off that play there. Oh my goodness, right out in front, Tengrati loses it. McLeod on the 1T doesn't go. We need to just clear this out of our front of our net here. There we go. All right, Morozov gets the puck out to Edwards. Edwards up to Gibbons to skate on to. Bo Gibbons right out in front to Solomon. Edwards didn't go. Gibbons now right out in front again. Edwards two wax at it, three wax at it. It's still loose, and we're going to get a power play out of that crazy net front presence there. So Leewater Hayek gets the penalty there. And we will go to work on the power play now. Face off here for Connor Geeky. And he is indeed going to win it. Over to Catan. Great shot. Better save. They're going to be pressuring. They're going to want to go forward here with this. But Fantilli picks it off. Great play. Berkeley Catton walks in. He's poked at the last second. Pass across. Still loose here. My goodness. Kazevnikov tried to play it through there. Picked off yet again. Kazevnikov over to Nicholson. He's going to walk through traffic. Fire. Good save. Catton looking for a play. Berkeley Catton back to Nicholson. He's going to fire high and wide. My goodness, that was a terrible shot. All right, so Nicholson's going to find Fantilli in stride. He's moving. Adam Fantilli walks in. Great deke. Oh, my goodness. That was almost... Like a shock and awe-esque goal. Now Fantilli down the wing. And there you have it. Adam Fantilli does what Adam Fantilli does. Just a gorgeous goal there. And it's 5-1. Like, it's not even close here tonight. <laughs> so we very well might go through the playoffs with just six losses in total. Uh-oh. I think we've got a glitch going on here. No, it's doing the sinking glitch. No. Okay, well, we can only assume that either Sergei Kazevnikov or Adam Vandilli is going to be winning the con smite here today. They might give it to Katon. I don't see why they would. But unfortunately, we're not going to get to watch the whole celebration just because of this sinking glitch, so... Nothing you can do about it, but I apologize on behalf of EA for that. So we will quit this game. I do expect it to be a win. And let's see. Do we blow a four-goal lead in 12 minutes? No, we don't. We win at 6-1. to one. So there you have it. Your Newfoundland Growlers get yet another Stanley Cup. That is five Stanley Cups now throughout this franchise mode. That's actually amazing. This team is turning into quite literally a dynasty. And I do have to say that I think 
Kazebnikov should be getting the uh, Colin Smythe there. So Newfoundland wins the Stanley Cup, Colorado wins the Calder, and we, you know, we're in both finals there, so that's pretty impressive anyways. So looking at player awards here to wrap up this episode, of course, Newfoundland wins three out of the last four, wins four out of the last five President's Trophies, and yeah, we've been in the finals quite a bit here too, so... All right, individual awards. Kamel's going to win the Art Ross. Isaac Rosen wins the Hart. Interesting. I wasn't expecting him, but he does. Aaron Kiviaru deservedly gets the Norris with his 106-point season. Austin Matthews wins the Lady Bing. Sawyer Clem gets the Calder this year. Sergey Kazebnikov, as expected, wins the Conn Smythe. Kale Mahler wins the Vesna. Yuri Vorobyov beats him out, though, for the Jennings. Uh, Sepanen is going to win the Masterton in Seattle. Weller, or Philadelphia's coach, wins the Jack Adams. Braden Yeager wins the Selkie. Isaac Rosen also wins the Lindsay. And Grayson McIver is going to get... Oh, sorry, Grayson McIver and Austin Matthews are going to tie for the Rocket this year. All right, guys, so something else I have to show you here before we wrap up this episode is that Sergei Kazevnikov has hit a franchise potential. Somehow, don't ask me how, but he has. He played phenomenal. He won the Conn Smythe. But it's 77 points. He hasn't been all that crazy. And for a third round pick, my goodness, he's turned into something amazing here. So I think what we do need to do is go and add a zone ability to his player type here pretty soon. He's looking extremely, extremely good as a player. And apart from that, looking through the rest of the progress reports, nothing too, too crazy happening in the NHL. Svedberg had some good growth. But overall in the system, you know, guys like... Sotheby are looking okay. It's not really a crazy, crazy year overall for player development, but things are looking good, to say the least. And we've got lots of players. A guy like Fairchild's now a backup goalie um, for his role. We got a top six in Ule, which is probably going to stay that way. Same with Gauthier LeDuc, Agostino. Yeah, Agostino probably could be playing in the NHL too, but... I think Gustavo O'Neill's another name that we are going to keep an eye on that might actually get a shot here coming up pretty soon. And yeah, I just really like where everything's sitting here. We will um, we'll go and add that X factor to Sergei Kazebnikov to end off this episode because he's hit a 90. He actually reached that threshold, which doesn't really happen all too often with players. Um, and looking just overall at the rest of his ratings and things like that... Um, his stick checking is amazing for a playmaker. His offensive awareness makes sense. So I think what we're going to be going with here, his highest stats are his shooting, his endurance. So yeah, bounce back makes sense. His shooting, endurance, offensive awareness, all of his puck skills, and stick checking and defensive awareness too. So he's an interesting player, and I think what we're going to do... Oh, I don't know. What do we, what do we give him here? Because he's a shooter. Like he scored a hundred goals already in three hundred twenty eight games, and he has one hundred seventy six assists. So his shooting and passing aren't really that far off. Maybe we uh, we're gonna we're gonna add something here. I think it's gonna be tape to tape, but I might be wrong on that. So. Let's give Kazebnikov third eye, just based on his passing. We'll give him third eye, and then we're going to add, uh, I want to say puck on a string, but it could be stick checking, it could be shooting, it could be a handful of things. So I think make it snappy is probably going to be what he gets, and then we will give him third eye as his zone ability. That's, yeah, I like that for Kazebnikov and his player build and how he plays. Yeah, I really like that. So yeah, Kazebnikov hits a franchise potential. That's actually crazy. Like, that never happens. But... Yeah, two franchise playmakers on the team 
really makes a difference. So that is where we're going to wrap this one up. The draft's looking good, apart from the fact that we're going to be picking right at the end at pick 33. Because of that, we are going to miss out on some pretty elite first round talent, which, you know, it is what it is. We won't get Solovyov or Osgood or very likely even, um, even Eshi. We might miss out on Eshi. He might get drafted before we actually get the pick. So that's unfortunate, but this defenseman down here in Tom Sutter is looking like the perfect fit for kind of what we need on the back end still, and I think that would be a great move. So anyways, guys, that's where we're going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed, make sure to go down below, drop a like to show your support, subscribe as well, hit notifications, and do all that good stuff to support my channel. And of course, you have to leave comments if you made it to the end of the video or are you just excited to see that Kazemnikov's a franchise player now. I think that makes sense. Uh, but that's it for me. This is Etanio, sign out, and until next time.